Hi everyone and welcome to my Sewing a Couture Dress at Home series. This is episode one where I'm going to be showing you kind of my planning stage and what I'm preparing for this series. So let me tell you some of the backstory. First, I know that I'm going to be working with this fabric. I bought this more than a year ago and it was expensive and it's a very nice, extremely beautiful fabric. And I have just been so nervous to cut into it. I haven't done anything and I have made plans and backed away from them. But right now it is November, if you're watching this at the time of this video being released. And the, in the sewing community, it's the prompt of sew frosting. Sewing something that you wouldn't normally sew. Something that is exquisite or with the fabric that you've been saving, and that's exactly what this is. It's beautiful fabric that I've been saving and wanting to make something, but I've just, I haven't, because I'm not gonna wear it that often, and you have all the excuses, but it's something special to do for yourself. So at the end of this month, it is my birthday, and I have made a commitment that on my birthday, I'm gonna wear this dress, and I'm gonna enjoy every second of it. And in this video series, I'm gonna be showing you the process from start to finish of me making this dress. And hopefully some of you will join me in making a frosting dress of your own. Now, I know the pattern that I'm going to be using is the Night and Day Dress by Charm Patterns by Gertie. This dress is really, really versatile and I'm really excited to make this. I've never made it before, but part of the process of making a couture dress is to make a muslin, and so I'm gonna be making my first muslin of this dress, so it's kind of a two-for-one deal. There are two bodices, two collar options, six sleeve options, and three skirt options. I haven't quite decided on the skirt because I don't have as much fabric as some of these skirts call for, so I'm gonna have to get creative. But I love the different options and I'm excited to see what I can come up with using this for my dress. I do know that I'm going to be making the square neckline option, and the first thing I'm going to do in the next video is make my muslin. So I'm gonna be using some unbleached muslin fabric. It's very inexpensive and I can make all sorts of stitch lines and markings and notes on it as I get the fit perfected. If you're wondering what a couture dress is, it is a dress that is made to your measurements, to your stance, all of the little uniquenesses of your body and posture are really built into this dress. And a lot of techniques that are made to construct the dress are done by hand. There are some times where you will use a machine to stitch, but I would say the majority of what you do in making this dress is done by hand. Now, this book is a really great tool that actually shows the different stitches. It shows different components that you add to different garments and explains why in a lot of detail. It's a great book that I'm going to be referring to. And I've also gone through an entire series with Susan Kalji online of how to sew a couture dress. And so I'm gonna be pulling techniques from this book and also the techniques that she taught in the course to support me in making this dress. Okay, so there you have it. I'm committing to make this dress over the next three weeks. It's going to require a lot of patience and time. And I'm also gonna be recording and releasing the process in video, so that will also require time. If you wanna follow along with the series, you can click subscribe and that little bell alert next to it, you can also click that and you'll get notifications as the updates are posted. And in between the releases of these videos, if you wanna see some of the behind the scenes, then you can visit my Instagram, Page Handmade, and you can see kind of what I'm working on day by day as I share them. And if you're gonna be joining me in this process, pick the pattern and get some muslin and get ready to make yourself a couture dress. Bye.